setting ventilation parameters. During this video, we will walk you through all the steps needed to select a ventilation mode and manipulate ventilator settings using the front panel controls covered during session one. Start by confirming that the gradient CCV is connected to mains power and that the correctly assembled breathing circuit is connected to the CCV but not connected to the patient. Using the power knob, turn on the CCV. Be sure to turn it all the way to the right until you reach number one, which indicates the on position. The display lights will flash on for a moment and then the CCV will revert to the modes and settings used for the previous patient. Select your preferred mode by pressing the mode selection button until the green light flashes. Then use the parameter slash mode adjustment arrows to move between modes. When the green light is flashing next to the mode you want to select, press the mode selection button again to confirm your selection. The green light should remain illuminated but not blinking next to the mode you have selected. Note that if you do not confirm your selection by pressing mode selection a second time, the CCV will return to the previous setting in five seconds. Once a mode is selected, the CCV will automatically populate the required fields in the ventilator settings panel. The primary difference will be setting PEEP in pressure modes and tidal volume in volume modes. These settings can be changed at any time using the same process that is used to change the ventilation mode. Simply press the button next to the setting you want to change and wait for the current value to start flashing. Then use the parameter slash mode adjustment arrows to increase or decrease value until you reach the desired setting. Press the button again to confirm your selection. Sometimes you will need to considerably increase or decrease a setting, such as changing the tidal volume from 100 milliliters to 450 milliliters. In these cases, it is possible to change the value in larger increments by holding the alarm silent slash reset button while using the parameter slash mode adjustment arrows to reach your desired value more quickly. Once all parameters have been set and the CCV has been connected to the patient, confirm that they are receiving good ventilation by observing adequate chest rise and fall. Confirm that there are no active alarms. If any alarms activate, diagnose and resolve the cause of the alarm. We will go over alarms during session three. To prevent any accidental changes to the ventilator settings, lock the front panel controls by pressing the control lock button, ensuring the blue light is illuminated. To make any future changes, press this button again to unlock the display.